In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome, my brothers and sisters, to this TV Mass on Sunday morning. It's a special joy to welcome those who are sick, those who are homebound, and those in prisons. Welcome to anyone who happens to tune in this morning. It's a joy to have you. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us pause, call to mind our sins, and ask God for mercy, peace, and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. We give glory and praise to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love for you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is near to A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, life is Christ and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. And I do, I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. For I long to depart this life and be with Christ, 
for that is far better. Yet that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only conduct yourself in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landowner saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you too go into my vineyard and I will give you what is just. So they went off. And he went out again around noon and around three o'clock and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around and said to them, why do you stand here idle all day long? They answered, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive even more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And upon receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, these last ones worked only one hour, and you've made them equal to us who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them to reply, my friend, I'm not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's a wonderful story to share with you, a true story of a bishop during the Vietnam era and in the late 60s and early 70s and throughout much of the 70s, he was the Archbishop of Saigon. And during that time, because he wanted independence for Saigon from the communist government, he was arrested and went under terrible scrutiny and arrest for 13 years. Can you imagine that? And he was poorly treated, sometimes barely fed. Oftentimes they would prohibit him from saying mass, but sometimes some of his friends would be, bring in a flashlight, for example, with breadcrumbs in there and a little flagon of wine for medicinal purposes, supposedly. But Father, but Bishop, Archbishop of Tuan, was able to use those elements to celebrate the Mass, which he knew from memory. And that's what got him through 13 years of imprisonment and then house arrest for many years afterwards. You know, he noticed a change in his mind and heart. He noticed that at first he was very resentful, almost angry. And he decided after prayer to the Lord, he had to give that up. He realized that he was more attached to the works of God than he was to God himself. On Sunday mornings, he would hear the bells ring in his own cathedral just down the block. He would hear the pitter-patter of people coming to Mass, and that would really help him to long for and yearn to be with them. But you know, he didn't become bitter. He decided to be grateful. He wrote this about that time. Thank you, Lord, for having chosen me to be your child. Thank you for having given me Mary for my mother. Thank you for the mission I have received from you in the church. Thank you for having revealed your mysteries to me. Thank you for so many brothers and sisters who sustain me. He became so filled with gratitude, and in gratitude he became very holy. 
the people that he would send, they would send to guard him, he would pour out so much love into them that they were changed and converted. They couldn't do their job anymore because Archbishop Francis Xavier loved them and taught them to love Christ. What a beautiful message. Some of you are in prison right now. I'm sorry that I can't come to you, that I can't be with you in Oshkosh and in Green Bay where I visit you at least twice a year and once in a while in Red Granite. Please know that you are loved by God. Jesus loves you. And as the gospel says, it's never too late. As the last workers were hired for the vineyard, when they were hired, they got the same wages. What is Jesus trying to say? The wages they received was salvation. It's never too late, never too late to say Christ in your life. So I beg each and every one of you, those who are watching this beautiful TV mass today, don't give up. Whether you're sick or you're confined to home or you're in a prison, it's never too late to say yes to Jesus and to develop a grateful heart for all that God has given to you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will now pray the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, for there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Now we pray the universal prayers. As workers in the vineyard, let us raise our prayers before our God, who is eager to hear us. For those who struggle to find work, that they may soon be able to enjoy the dignity of their work, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace, protection, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit for our civil and ecclesial leaders, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our bishop and our priests, that they may be endowed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit to continue to shepherd us in our faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who proclaim the gospel with their lives, especially teachers and missionaries, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We will now pray the Memorare to St. Joseph. Please join us as we pray the Memorare to St. Joseph. Remember, O most pure spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, my great protector, St. Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or implored your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, therefore, in your goodness, I come before you. Do not turn down my petitions, foster father of the Redeemer, but graciously receive them. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, 
by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you, Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with me, your unworthy servant, and with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now, brothers and sisters, let us pray that beautiful prayer as our Savior has commanded and formed us by divine teaching. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and my I invite you now to pray the prayer of spiritual communion. Please join us in a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like to say just a couple of words. First of all, of gratitude to all of you who give to the Bishop's Appeal. The Mass today is being brought through the courtesy and generosity of the Bishop's Appeal. We're so grateful to all of you that we can reach out to those who can't come to Mass during these days. Our thoughts and prayers especially go to those who are sick. As I mentioned, those who are really struggling, please know that Jesus is right with you. Jesus is walking with you. It may be very hard to discern that, but try to just open yourself and ask for Jesus to walk with you. For those who are in prisons as well, see if you can turn your cell into what the monks call a monastic cell a place where you can spend time regularly with the Lord, grow closer to him, and yes, even become holy. What a gift. God gives his gifts. He invites us all to the vineyard at different times in our lives. What a gift this is to all of us. Thank you for joining us. Those of you who uh, come every Sunday to witness this or participate in this Mass, 
we're grateful. Please pass on the word. Maybe there are others who can't come to the Mass and can't get out of their homes. You're most welcome to join us in prayer and connect through me and this Mass to one another. The Lord be with you. And with your, with your spirit. spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, now and, forever. and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made, who made heaven, heaven and, and earth. And may Almighty God bless each and every one of you and your families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Today.